Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Richard Hobbs from the Wolves fan cast. Richard, thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Um, let's get down to the nitty gritty straight, yeah. straight away. Crazy, crazy week. Unbelievable, really. Yeah, um, sort of kind of, you know, escalated quickly from sort of, I think it was last Wednesday when um, Marsa or Marker um, said that the Pethawi, um mm -hmm. was apparently joining Wolves. I think everyone kind of thought it was a bit of a joke article and yeah. it's a snowball from there into um, Robin Lee apparently taking over intimately and um, yeah, getting a new manager in the next sort of week or two potentially. Yes, fans, fans have been so patient, but it's just amazing really that the depth that this is actually potentially happening. Yeah, I mean, initially I kind of thought, well, this is going to happen. Mm. This is a manager who's managed Porto, all the Spain um, youth levels, I think, or at least under 21s and mm. 19. And you know, I can't. The usual thing is, I thought, oh, he's going to be got Wolfsburg, and it's been lost in translation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, if this does pay off, we could have a highly regarded manager um, who has a bit more of a potentially continental style, um, alongside a owner who looks willing to invest lots of money in um, in the team. I mean, on the face of it, this is incredible. Wolves could become the second richest club in the UK, one of the richest clubs in the world overnight. Yeah, it's scary. I mean. If we can get the model right and, you know, we can actually make sure the money's invested correctly, I mean, you can only look at someone like QPR who mm -hmm. had money, massive money invested through um, the Mattel family and they just didn't use the money correctly and, you know, signed has-beens, yeah. whereas Wolves have a philosophy about buying in young players mm -hmm. and if we can use that money to invest correctly in the right players, it could, be, it could lead on to something great, but who knows? And I guess from Wolves' point of view, you don't want a situation like 2012 with Stoller because mm. this, this has happened before, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, say we've seen what happens when you invest, you know, three million on several different kinds of players mm -hmm. and none of, them are kind, none of them are the right sort of players for the club mm. long term. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see how, if we do get a manager who's from another country, mm -hmm. how they will adapt um, two walls because someone like the signings that Jackets made are fairly similar to the yeah. signings that McCarthy made. Yeah. Whereas Stolback and signings were completely of the end of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it'll be if he can sort of get players, if, if a potential new manager can get players who fit the current model but help us move slowly in the right direction, mm -hmm. I think it could be great. But He's a manager who hasn't managed in English football, and that's the danger, isn't it? Is he going to bring his own players in? Is he going to bring some homegrown players? I mean, there is so many question marks at the moment. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always exciting when you know your team signs foreign exciting players that you haven't really heard no, of. And, you no, know, you, you go to Champ Man. Yeah, you do. You you, you have a look at the uh, football manager stats, don't yeah, you? And that's yeah. all you can go off. Yeah. It, it kind of gives you this real sense of excitement because. I could have told when we signed Connor Cody last year, good signing, solid mm. midfielder. Mm -hmm. But I could have told you most of the things about him. Yeah. If we signed someone from the second division in Spain, mm. there's a chance that a lot of Wolves fans don't know of them. No. Um, said, hopefully, um, we can bring in some tried and tested players from uh, the English leagues mm -hmm. because, for obvious reasons. But actually, if we can bolster the side up with some more creative players from mm -hmm. the continent. Yeah. Um, it could potentially work very well for the club. And with the Jorge Mendes link as well, the super agent. Uh, I mean, yeah. he's been renowned for bringing in some of his, his own players. So uh, Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's one of the most powerful men in football, yeah. isn't he? The amount of, uh, I think he's sort of been involved in over a billion pounds worth of transfer dealings mm. now, which is incredible. Not bad for a middle man, is it? Uh, yeah, you know, when he gets his 10% cut, <laughs> yeah. it, uh, it all adds up. Um, you know... If if some you know if we can get links to I don't know let's say the Porto B who mm -hmm. are no doubt probably much stronger than any you know half the Wolves team mm -hmm. it will be really interesting to see positive and obviously on season tickets as well yeah um, I think I don't know if they've dropped off from last season at all mm. but though I, I considered not renewing this year I, I did renew in the end but it'll be you know it gives some fans something to actually want to turn up for the first game of the season mm -hmm. as you know with the Euros I don't think it Wolves was anyone's sort of first thoughts for the last couple of weeks but actually now it's mm -hmm. got me and probably quite a lot of other fans really looking forward to the new season 